Hey everyone, I've seen other shows but I'm doing this review now because it really was an amazing show that I just saw. The Tempest at Donmar Warehouse with an all-female cast starring Harriet Walter, who was Prospero. First of all, they were talking about in the program how there's a uh, in Shakespeare, generally, there's like a one to three ratio of women to men. How so many more of the ro of the speaking roles go to men, and the female roles generally have less lines, even if they are strong characters. So there's been a movement in recent years, starting with Julius Caesar, and continuing with um, things like, oh my goodness. They were talking about it. It's another show I want to see. Glenda Jackson playing King Lear at the Old Vic. So there's been a trend of traditionally male roles in Shakespeare being played by women, which is like what we need. So basically repertory theaters are planning around doing Shakespeare plays, which call for more men than women. And so that means that the company is mostly men and they hire fewer women and then they write plays to match those repertory companies. So the plays that they write are going to have more roles for men than women. So it's a vicious loop, and this is a pushback against that in a form of protest, and it's very exciting. I'll show you a little bit of the, uh, of the photos from the um, program. Uh, which really, this is kind of a creepy picture. This, I'm guessing, is from Henry V or maybe Julius Caesar. Anyway, these are just the actors themselves who were all incredible. She was amazing as Miranda. So vulnerable and and full and, and 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 amazing and sensitive she is hilarious um let's see oh my god she was so lively so amazing um in this photo she reminds me a lot of you quentin it was just such a cohesive cast they were they all had each other's backs um it's a unified performance. The setting, not to give too much away, but I, be I believe all three plays, I've only seen the first, um, take place in a prison. So playing with the idea of finding freedom within constraints, which is like <laughs> what this is all about, it was, it was fantastic. I was so affected, and there was this one moment when they they were celebrating the wedding of Miranda and um, Ferdinand and uh, they brought in like Starbucks coffee and, and, and KFC for the wedding meal and like that was such a special thing because they didn't have access to even that. Then they brought in these white balloons, these massive white balloons and they projected images onto them of like everyone's dreams and whew, it just fucked me up. This this play did exactly what I think theater should do always, which is alchemically change the audience. Like after this show, my posture was better. Like I was walking differently. It was so liberating and exciting to see all of these roles, all of these like lively characters being played by women and then you, you know, we don't see it enough. And I'll show you The Tempest. So Ariel was my favorite, Jade as Ariel. She was like <laughs> incredible. I just loved her performance. Where is she? There she is. This is not from the show, but look at her holy shit and uh ferdinand she was the one who looks like quentin in that picture caliban Oof. she was 
a force to be reckoned with. I think this is her. Yeah, and Harriet Walter just like blew me away with how how much weight women of her age have to carry and and the fact that after all of that she'd gone through she was going to break her pen and uh rest before the performance even started we all were with them because first of all it was such a confined space um it was like a cafeteria like crammed into this warehouse and there were the bleachers going up and but before we went in, we were. I was like, when's the show going to start? You know, it's 7.30, isn't that when it's supposed to start? And one of the ladies, it was like, I wouldn't worry about it. And then at 7.30, um, this, uh, you know, like prison noise happened. And they're like, prisoners coming through! And the whole cast files through the audience into the playing area. And then they bring us in. And they crowd us, like cr cram us together into this you know, antechamber before we go in. Ushers, they're actually actors, were guards. And we were the prisoners being filed in to the prison. And so that, first of all, got us on their side right from the start, gave us a sense of what it's like to be in an institution and uh, to be in something together like a huge group of people. It was just so effective. And then there was a part where we had flashlights under our seats and Jade t told everybody you'll find flashlights under your seats if you could just put them on the button is on the string end and like we turned them on and the whole room was filled with little blue moving lights around in darkness and the stage was lit up and Prospero talked to us and we were part of the show and this was such an incredible play well, worth the no money I paid because <laughs> two hours before the show, um, you can pick up Young and Free tickets, which is where you make this face because you get a free ticket that would normally cost 40 pounds. I'm so glad that they make this accessible to young people. They're, they make 25% of all their tickets available for free to anyone under age 25. So I'm lucky I'm not that old yet. This, like, everything about this production company is just so what I'm about, and it was so inspiring, and makes me want to do theater like this, and totally unafraid to embrace the ungranted legacy that women deserve in doing Shakespeare. So anyway, that's just my two cents. If you're in the UK, go see this show, these shows, all three shows, they're doing The Tempest, Julius Caesar, and Henry IV, and you could see all three um, in one day if you're feeling dangerous. <laughs>